Do you want a less expensive, more robust option than the Smith or the Gentech regulator for these .39 one pound propane tanks? Then stick around and I'll show you how I put together two of these for $38. Each one being one third the cost of the Gentech or better than one fifth the price of the Smith regulator. All that you'll need for this are three items. A dot .39 one pound propane tank adapter, a quarter inch NPT thread needle valve, and a NPT thread to 5 16 uh, welding hose fuel line adapter like this. In addition, these exact needle valves come with thread tape reducing the items that need to be purchased. Unlike the commercial products, with this system, you get more options. Most notably, the needle valve. The valve that I am using has a low thread count needle. It requires only a quarter turn before releasing gas. You can choose a needle valve that has a high thread count so that you have to turn the needle multiple times before it will start releasing fuel. In addition, you can go with a hose barb, like what I've done here and what I was using in my previous video. I'm adding a flashback arrestor to this system and why I'm switching from the hose barb to this fitting. Here is a size comparison between the regulator and the needle valve system. This regulator is actually one from one of these cheap burns matic torches. However, it is approximately the same size as the Smith or the Gentech regulators. You can see that the needle valve and the dot .39 connector are approximately the same size as the regulator, meaning that once the type B connector or whatever connector is going to be added onto the needle valve, it will be a bit taller than the regulator. This isn't particularly a problem given that the propane tanks should be restrained in some way preventing them from falling over. To contrast the uh, regulator versus the needle valve method that I've shown in this video, all regulators use a diaphragm and the diaphragms have rubber to uh, allow the function of the regulator to take place. That being the case, they will wear out over time. And the regulators that are uh, made for these one pound tanks are not designed for maintenance. Unlike regulators for large tanks, which you can purchase a rebuild kits for those and then you can you know you don't have to toss the whole thing out um that's an issue because of the fact that from what i've seen online the regulators sold for the one pound tanks um a certain number of them will begin to leak uh, after you know not too long um, and so unless the warranty is in effect you know you're out of luck to be fair though uh, a regulator is operates in a very different way than a needle valve. A needle valve is a flow control method. 
versus a pressure reducing regulator is a method of uh, regulating out constant pressure. Now, in terms of function, um, I have not noticed when working off of these one pound tanks, I have not noticed a difference with uh, the flame uh, on the torch between using the ne a needle valve or a regulated um, method off of the small tanks. So, um, with that being the case, I don't uh, see an issue with using the needle valve. Uh, not to mention, you're, you have two needle valves in series because you also have the needle valve built into your torch um, along with the needle valve that's part of this. When taking that into uh, consideration, um, I think that it's best to only open this valve just enough to allow a uh, slightly more gas to flow than what is needed for the task that you're aiming to accomplish. And then of course, fine tuning with the needle valve that's on your torch. Um, I believe that's it. I hope this was helpful and gave some people in a valuable alternative.